Welcome to another parent-teacher video lesson from the earlygiftedmanual.com, a free website for homeschooled children three to seven years old and their parents that promotes and develops giftedness at an early age. I am Gary Blank, the creator of that site and your host and facilitator for this video and all of the videos in my educational program. As the video lessons are designed to work in conjunction with the program on my website, I ask you to, at some point, click on the URL link in the description box below, and this action will take you to the earlygiftedmanual.com. By doing that, you will be able to put this lesson and all of the video lessons here on my channel in the proper context of the total program that I am presenting to you and your child. And welcome everyone to Lesson 31, addition with three add-ons, and actually there will be uh, two concepts explored in this lesson. Addition with three add-ons, and, and the second part of the, in the second part of the lesson we will work on two-digit addition, and this will be, of course, column addition. Both of these will be column addition, and in the two-digit addition there will be no regrouping, and for you people that maybe uh, are a little older, that means no carrying. That's what we used to call it. But anyway, uh, none of that. Uh, very straightforward uh, two-column addition. I'll show you what I mean shortly. And the materials, uh, very simple for this lesson. You will only need a piece of copy paper and a pencil and, of course, a whiteboard if, if that's a, a, a tool you like to use. So addition with three or more add-ins. Well, I think uh, for this lesson, we're just gonna stick with three uh, to show you it in its simplest form. And then later on in, in, your, in your child's uh, mathematical pursuits, uh, of course, it will get a little, a little hairier, so to speak, but uh, we'll start out with just three for now. So let's start out with this problem. Five plus one plus three equals how many? And you can uh, show your child how to read this problem even though there's only one addition sign there. It's read like this. Five plus one plus three equals how many? So you might want to write a, a few of those out, make sure he can read them easily and explain to him that well, look here, now we're, now we're adding three numbers together. How are we going to do that? You can let him think about that for a few seconds. Uh, and you know, maybe he or she can figure it out on their own. Uh, but if not, um, of course, there's a, a, a set of rules, a set of steps they can follow. And actually, those rules are, are very, very simple. You're going to group add-ins together, so eventually you're down to two numbers. So it would work something like this, uh, and you can, of course, model the process for your child. Um, well, I know what three and one is, and three and one is four, and sometimes people will put a little parentheses around to show that you've uh, you've reduced that to four, you've actually reduced it to the sum, but I like to cross them out just so your child knows that those are no longer in the equation. So look, now that we've found the sum of those two, we only have two numbers to deal with. And of course, five plus four equals nine. And it's really just as simple as that. Let's do uh, maybe one more, just to get that locked in. Uh, let's see here. Let's do uh, 2 plus 4 plus 5 equals how many? And of course, uh, you can hand over the duties to your child now and help her any, any way uh, that she needs help. 2, have her read it. 2 plus 4 plus 5 equals how many? And sometimes 
you know, maybe the numbers they want to combine together aren't right next to each other. So maybe your child remembers that, that five and two is seven. So you could do this. As long as you're uh, crossing out, it, it really doesn't matter. So let's say uh, he knows that five plus two is seven. So he's going to cross those out. Put the seven. And now, of course, it just becomes a, a problem with two add-ins. And uh, of course, hopefully, he knows uh, um, the sum of these two numbers. Uh, if not, uh, have him use the uh, addition table. And 7 plus 4 is 11. So that's the very earliest stages of uh, adding up uh, numbers in a column. Of course, uh, as you go on, as you know as an adult, these columns can be very long and we have other strategies for doing it. But this is a great place to start with your child. and. There are three practice sheets on this that you can access on the early gifted manual. So just go to uh, lesson 31 and you'll be able to access those. And now let me show you how to teach your child two digit addition. And of course this is a, a quantum leap because now we're dealing with place value and hopefully uh, you've been doing all the, the, uh, the things that we talked about earlier with, with place value, uh, counting bundles of things and rows of things and whatnot. So um, uh, hopefully your child is very solid with place value and, and, uh, and actually he or she will need to understand place value to take this next step to two digit addition. So if, if he's still a little shaky, you may have to go back and do some uh, review. All right, let's just uh, start out with this concept. I'm going to write the number 23. And you can model this for your child. You could tell her, I know that 23 is two tens and three ones. And uh, I'm sure she will agree with that. And then write this number. And maybe by this time, she will uh, chime in and say, oh yes, that's 15, that's one 10 or one group of 10 and five ones. And then you can say, all right, so let's add those together. How would you do that? And, um, and you can tell her that, well, I'm gonna show you how to do it. It's just uh, like all math uh, that you've done together. It's a, it's a set of rules and you go step by step. So uh, you can start out by having her read the problem. 23 by 15 equals how many? And here's, here's what you can do now to really make this concept very clear. Draw a line right through there and up here away from the problem just to remind him these are ones and these are tens. And you can tell him here's how we do it. We are going to work from right to left. And that kind of goes against a lot of the techniques we've been using in the early gifted manual so far. But uh, we will be working ones and then moving towards the tens. And of course, as we get into hundreds and thousands, we're always working that way, right to left. We're going to uh, you can tell him we're going to add the ones and we're going to add the tens and then we're going to read the problem and the answer. So how would you approach this? Uh, I would approach it like this. Um, I would say, well, let's add the numbers in the ones column first. And of course, that is three plus five equals eight. And then you might say, now let's add the numbers in the tens column. Two plus one equals three. And then you could say, well, actually, um, two tens plus one ten equals three tens. Maybe that's a better way to put it. Um, uh, I made a little error there. Yes, you have to make it very clear that you're now adding tens. 
These are, these are tens, not ones anymore. So if you want to use the example of bundles, two bundles of craft sticks and one bundle of craft sticks is three. So uh, she was adding up ones in the ones column and tens over here. And, and as, I, as I always like to say, it's as simple as that. That's how you solve um, uh, an addition problem that has two digits with two digit numbers, two numbers with two digits. Um, so you could have her uh, now read the entire um, problem. 23 plus 15 equals 38. And if he's very solid with his, with his understanding of place value, he should have no problem in seeing all these connections that we just made here. So, uh, and, and once again, of course, uh, if he or she isn't, you have to go back and work on that a little bit before you come back to this. But uh, that's, that's two-digit addition, and that's how you would approach uh, teaching two-digit addition to your child. Um, and there are two practice sheets that you can access on the early gifted manual that uh, will give you lots of problems that you can work at one at a time. Of course, you don't have to do them all in, uh, in one sitting. You can come back to them. So uh, just go to the early gifted manual to this lesson, lesson 31, and you will find the uh, reference to them right there. So after reviewing this lesson, uh, I thought, I might do a little add-on here. Uh, perhaps we should do one more of these uh, two-digit addition problems together just to solidify that uh, procedure. So let me choose uh, two two-digit numbers here. How about these? 31 plus 68 equals how many? Uh, once again, um, you could have your child uh, start out by reading the problem, 31 plus 68 equals how many? And she may want to jump right in and start, but uh, it wouldn't hurt to do this again. Draw a little line between the columns and way up here away from the numbers. Make it very clear to him or her, this is the ones column. This is the tens column. And you can prove that to him by saying, well, look, here's 31. And we know that 31 is three groups of 10 and one more. Here's 68. 68 is six groups of 10 and eight more. So. Uh, you can't do enough of that, this, uh, this place value concept. Uh, keep, keep hammering that home. So um, how do we solve it? Uh, remind her, we always work right to left, ones to tens and later on to hundreds and thousands. So we're working in this direction. And we're going to add the ones in the ones column, the tens in the tens column, and then we're going to read the problem and the answer. So let's do it like this. First say, well, let's add the numbers in the ones column. And, and you know, at this point, uh, she should be manning the pencil. A plus one is nine. Am I losing my lead here a little bit? <laughs> A plus one is nine. And then you can say, okay, now let's work with the numbers in the tens column. Let's add those up. So we have three tens and six tens are nine tens. And then, of course, you would want her to uh, read back the entire problem and the answer. 31 plus 68 equals 99. And of course, you want to emphasize that 99, just as you did with these numbers, 99 is nine groups of 10 and nine more. And of course, if your child is rock solid with place value, they will have no problem understanding that. 
So I hope that uh, um, kind of uh, elucidates uh, how to do this uh, a little better. I thought it was important to maybe add one more example of this process.